Hello and welcome back. We're ready for Mark chapter 8 now. And we're going to do the first part of Mark chapter 8 and save the second part for one of our Zoom sessions. Because the second part of Mark chapter 8 is, I believe, the most, it is the most pivotal section of the Gospel of Mark. And um, also it's one of my favorite chapters, half chapters, um, in the whole Bible. So I want to do that one on a Zoom session. But let's look at Mark chapter 8, and we're going to be looking at Jesus feeding 4,000. So guess what? We have food again. <laughs> so we were all the way back to the feeding of the 5,000. We've had food except for one passage of scripture um, mentioned. So we're back to uh, talking about food again. In those days, a large crowd gathered once again, and they had nothing to eat. Jesus called his apprentices together and said to them, we're still in the Gentile section. So this is quite a ministry that Jesus has among the Gentiles here, often overlooked in our study of the Gospels. And as he fed the 5,000 men in the Jewish territory, now he's going to feed 4,000 uh, people in the Gentile territory. He says, I have compassion, that's my favorite word again, splanknidzomai, for the crowd, because they've already remained with me three days with nothing to eat. Uh, and it's a long time. If I sent them to their homes without eating, they will give out on the way. Some of them have come a long distance to be here. Now, in the feeding of the 5,000, it's the disciples that go to Jesus and say, we got a problem here. Um, we need to feed these people. And Jesus says, fix it. And they say, well, give us some money. And Jesus said, well, check your resources. So now Jesus is bringing up the problem to them. And he says, we, we have a problem here. we got all these people, and they're about to drop because they've had nothing to eat. But look at how the disciples respond. His disciples answered him, Where could anyone find enough bread in this isolated area to feed all these people? Seriously, disciples? Seriously? You forgot about the feeding of the 5,000 men? And uh, beside the women and the children that were with them? Maybe... 10, 15,000 people. Seriously, you held the baskets right there. There were 12 baskets and there's 12 of you. Um, Jesus basically brings up the same problem that you brought up before. And your answer isn't, well, let's go check and see how much food is there because Jesus can fix this. Instead, they're like, oh, we'll never find enough bread to feed these people. And Jesus asks them, how much bread do you have? So he brings it up. Okay, show me what you got. Show me your resources. Show me what you got. And they say seven loaves. Jesus directed the crowd to sit on the ground. He took the seven loaves and gave thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his apprentices so that they might distribute it to the people. The apprentices distributed the bread to the crowd. They also had a few fish. After he blessed the fish, he directed his apprentices to distribute them. The people ate and were satisfied. Notice again that word satisfied. They ate and they were satisfied with what they ate because Jesus wants people to be whole and satisfied. They picked up seven large baskets of what remained of the broken pieces. The different word is used for basket here than in the earlier feeding. That was the a smaller basket uh, of Jewish origin. This is a larger basket of Gentile Roman origin. Um, I think, um, yeah, 50 loaves could have been held in each of those baskets. And so seven large baskets, 50 loaves, it's 350 loaves that are left over. There were approximately 4,000 people in the crowd. After feeding them, Jesus dismissed them. He embarked in the boat with his apprentices and came to the region of Dalmanutha. So we have here the same, basically the same miracle, only this time Jesus brings up the problem, waits for his disciples to bring up the solution. They don't, so he brings up the solution himself. Um, again, we've, we've, we've had this theme of bread um, for a couple of chapters now, and they still don't get it. The disciples still do not understand who Jesus is which leads us into chapter 8, and Jesus is going to start being even more specific with them about who he is. Now look at the Pharisees next. Uh, this brings up the theme again. 
of the opposition of Jesus. The Pharisees arrived and began to argue with them, with him. They sought a sign from heaven from him, and they tested him. Signed deeply within his spirit, he said, Why does this generation seek a sign? I tell the truth. No sign will be given this generation. He left them embark embarking again in a boat, and he went to the other side. So they come, they ask for a sign, and he says, I'm not going to give you a sign, and he doesn't. He just leaves. Uh, and that leads into the next um, situation, or the next story. The leaven of the Pharisees and, the, and, and, and Herod. Bread again, okay? Leavening of bread. The apprentices for, forgot to take bread, so now the disciples forget the bread, uh, except for one loaf. They brought one loaf with them. That, that is all they had in the boat with them. Jesus commanded them, listen up, watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees and, and Herod. They discussed this with one another, thinking he said this because they had no bread. So <laughs> he brings up the yeast of the Pharisees, and they're thinking, oh man, we forgot the bread. We only brought one loaf. That will not feed all of us. Their minds are just in such a different place than Jesus' mind. And so Jesus says, knowing this, Jesus said, Why do you think I'm talking about having bread? Do you not comprehend? Do you not understand? Have your hearts been hardened? Have your eye, Having eyes, do you not see? Having ears, do you not hear? Do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000? How many baskets of bread did you pick up? The answer, 12. When I broke the seven loaves for the 4,000, how many baskets of bread did you pick up? They answered seven. He said to them, do you not yet understand? So, and he doesn't go any farther than that, except the next stories will. I mean, he's, Mark is doing an excellent job of putting these stories side by side to get to the point now where Jesus is really going to explain himself to his disciples. They haven't gotten it for... Um, a chapter and a half now, maybe two chapters, they haven't gotten it. They just misunderstood Jesus. They've held the basket of bread in their hands. They didn't get it. Um, they um, are, are faced with um, needing to feed more people. They still don't get it. Jesus brings up leaven, and they're thinking about bread instead of the yeast of the Pharisees. And so Jesus is going to take some time now. And he's just going to focus on really explaining to them who he is. And that leads us to the next section of Mark. And this is a beautiful section, Mark, the second half of 8, chapters 9 and 10. It begins with a blind man, the blind man of Bethsaida, and it's going to end with blind Bartimaeus. And in between, Jesus is going to do his best to help his disciples see him as he really is and get over their blindness and that's what we'll be looking at next when we're together on the Zoom session. We'll be looking at this part of Mark, really focusing in on what Mark is going to do in 8, 9, and 10 to help the disciples. Um, what Jesus is going to do, rather. Mark's going to show us what Jesus is going to do to help the disciples to understand who he is. I would like to leave you with one thought, and that is... I think at times in our own lives, we can be spiritually dull. That's what was happening with the disciples here. They were, they were just spiritually dull. They didn't see as they should have seen. And think of things that you can do to um, not be dull spiritually, but to be sharp spiritually. Things that can help your focus and help your understanding and help you gain insight from Jesus. For me, it's Bible study. When I'm in my Bible and I'm studying my Bible, I do well spiritually. Um, and that's the thing that feeds me the most. But for different people, it's different things. Find what it is for you and really feed your spirit, feed your soul. Thank you.